Hey, hi you guys. I'm Mamie Roloff and I'm in my little kitchen. I am getting ready to do a cooking Zoom with a few of my subscribers over on my YouTube channel, Amy Roloff's Little Kitchen. So I'm pretty excited. So I would love to cook with you. So if you have an opportunity to check it out, subscribe, that would be awesome. So I'm just gonna show them a, um, a little recipe. We're gonna have conversation. They ask me questions and stuff like that. So anyway, I am excited because of course, I'm in my happy place, my little kitchen. So I'm getting ready to cook with a few of them. I think there might be five or six of them. I can't remember. I have someone else help me manage that because as you all know, I am technically challenged. Anyway, we are making buffalo chicken salad. So think of it like buffalo wings, but we're incorporating in a salad. So you could say it's deconstructive and this is what it looks like. So anyway, subscribe, go to my YouTube channel because I would love to have a conversation and cook with you guys. So Amy, Amy roll off in my little kitchen. Okay, good job. Okay, you guys, I'm Amy Roloff and I'm in my little kitchen and my sidekick, or really right now, she is my sous chef. I like that. So, sorry about that. I was looking at my phone and I <laughs> should be looking at you guys. So today, um, thank you all for joining us. Um, so I'm gonna hook in or connect with some of the, some of the subscribers on my YouTube channel because this is what this is all about. Mm -hmm. Cooking with you guys and having a little conversation, so. I love it. Okay. Oh, how are y'all doing? Do we only have two? No, we should. Good. Good, good. There, Michael's just signing on. Okay, we'll, um, we'll wait for this third person. Oh, there we go, good job, awesome. Uh -huh. All right, just see. Uh, oh, so here's the fourth one, okay. <laughs> well, hey. Thank you all for joining me. Um, I love to cook. I, I just like to give everyone a little history, just in case. I love to cook. I'm not a chef. I'm not a formal chef. I continue to learn along the way. Um, I look at a lot of cooking magazines. I watch as much cooking. The one thing about the Food Network channel, I love looking at chefs cook. Um, but there's so many competition shows on there that it's like, I want to look at the individual chef, but anyway. And so I just look at a lot of recipes and I thought, oh, that's a good idea, but I don't like this and that. And I modify it, I tweak it, or I come up with something of my own. But I always contend there's a recipe out there that probably started 50 years ago and it's just been transformed into something else. So thank you all for joining us. Yes. Lisa's gonna introduce all of you guys so I can know who is who. All right. We have Michael Capitelli. Raise your hand. Michael, all Where's right, Michael? okay. Chris Brown and Tiffany Brown. Okay, we know who oh, you guys and are. And let me say, they're <laughs> from North Plains. Oh, really? And Michael's from Seattle, Washington. Oh, wow. And then we well, have- Well, we should go out and have coffee. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got Tanya Michelli and Susan Davis. Probably. So, hi guys. Uh, so Susan couldn't be with us today because I own an animal rescue. So we had a, yeah, we had a kitten emergency last night and had some kittens born that were in distress. So she oh, couldn't be with us. So, um, but I encourage you to look up Toby's Critter Cove if you get a chance. That's my rescue named after my Toby that died. Hi, Chris. Oh, and yeah. Hey, there's Chris. <laughs> I love, big it's fan of the show. And in the background. <laughs> there you go. So it's just me today, but um, I'm representing Toby's Critter Cove and also short people because I'm very short statured as well. So <laughs> how tall are you? Four foot 11. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's so I always get teased. I always get teased that I'm this short, uh, that I'm this shy of being a, uh, of a little person. So I uh, love watching your show and uh, oddly enough, all the tricks that you guys do, I actually do myself, so. <laughs> nice. nice. Yeah. Okay, and you're from Cuyahoga Falls? 
Did I say that right? Cuyahoga Falls, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tanya McKelly, yeah. Ohio. Ohio. Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio, yeah. And then we have Stephanie Jones from Bothell, Washington. There she is. Hi, you guys. Well, listen, I will try and not talk over you. So if you do want to say something or anything, just raise your hand and I'll cut off or someone else because I'm still learning the whole etiquette on Zoom because I, I really <laughs> expect this to be casual and, yeah. you know, we're just going to have fun. You guys uh, offered up some questions. If you guys have any other questions along the way, feel free to ask. But more importantly, um, let me know what you think about this recipe or if you have any of your other ideas in regards to all of this. Uh, it's been a while since I've made this. I just made it like, golly, like, what, 11 o'clock? What, what and, is it? Um, What's oh, it yeah. Well, we're <laughs> making a buffalo chicken salad. So mm. I'll tell you why I came up with this. But yes, you have... What, what, um, it's Tanya. Yeah. Yeah. So, hey, um, I have um, acid reflux really bad. So when I got the recipe of the buffalo, I was like, whoo, I already started feeling it. So what I did before the show was I went ahead and made um, a, um, a Dijon vinaigrette to put over this instead. So. And you know what? That, that works. I mean, this isn't, I chose the buffalo sauce because I typically don't like buffalo wings by that very thing because yeah. it is so spicy. I mean, I like spicy food, but for my mouth palate, um, if it's too spicy, my mouth is too hot and I can't even taste any of the other food. So yeah. with this, um, I just got the original <laughs> Frank's and it's so funny because I looked up lots of recipes when I thought about this. Okay, mm -hmm. what are other people doing out there? Everyone has Frank's Red Hot. Yeah, I mean, my dad loves that stuff. <laughs> well, if you're gonna do I can't anything, handle it. If you're going to do anything original, um, it came from Buffalo. So there anyway. You so Lisa, all right. what do I do? Do I get going? You're going to get going. Let me ask you all a question. Who is making this recipe along with me? Okay, okay, great. Because you don't have to. I prepped a bunch of it in advance, but it what, Chris? I prepped a bunch of the stuff in advance, but uh, haven't done the chicken yet. So yes, okay. and, and uh, a lot of times that's what I do. Like I already have one made. In fact, this is what mine looks like. Yours may look different and stuff like that. In fact, I I uh, put a little extra chives on here and parsley. But if I had cilantro, I probably would have added cilantro to this. Okay. Um, so yeah, so as Chris, as you stated, I would definitely create your sauce, prep your chicken. I have found, and I'll make a note in my recipe and resend it to you guys. You can do this in breast, in your whole breast, or slice it up or chunk it up however you guys want, and then cook it in the panko. Because I have found that if you cook the breast and then you cut it, half the panko crumbs comes off. So you don't get that nice little crunch crispiness to it. So I have found that if you slice up your chicken first and then marinate it, which I didn't hear, I, I haven't marinated yet. I'm sorry, I didn't marinate it yet, but I went ahead and chopped it up. Obviously I cooked this chicken first, but I wanted to try a different technique because this is somewhat similar to your, um, egg wash, uh, flour, egg wash, bread crumb kind of thing. And I just found like some of the panko crumbs just didn't adhere to the chicken well enough. So we'll see if this one worked. So for me to do this with you, I just drizzled this with a little bit of cornstarch mm. and I'll put the sauce on it. So think of it like your egg wash and then I'll dip it in the bread crumbs. And then uh, we'll cook it up. Uh, the one thing I have found, you definitely will have extra uh, buffalo sauce if you only use two breasts of chicken because I still have a lot left over, but you know, that's fine. You can always store it in the fridge and mm -hmm. use it later. But this is only one breast of chicken. So I'm using like maybe a third of the sauce in this one. I'm just giving you some context 
as to some of the modifications that I made, but I will update this recipe or any changes you've made, I'd love to know. And then we'll go from there. So you make your uh, buffalo sauce first. And if you've prepped, have, uh, Michelle, have you prepped your chicken already? <laughs> Tiffany, Tiffany, Tanya, Tanya. <laughs> Here. Sorry, I'm trying to go by memory. <laughs> and the, right, by the end of the show, you'll get it. <laughs> you know, uh, no, actually, very far back, and so uh -huh. we can't read the names on the screen. Just so oh, that's know. okay. That's all right. We're out. So I have I have got some notes. So we should be good. So okay, good. 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 No, I I have not prepped it yet. I just did the um the Dijon vinaigrette. Okay. Well, um, go ahead and prep your chicken like right now. Okay. Um, we might go ahead and That's fine. continue on. But Chris, you okay. had I do, I do have my chicken in the sauce marinating already. Okay, and you know what? That, and the, those are the little tweaks. Sometimes when I'm writing up these recipes, my mind goes faster than what I've written, but I, I would like to marinate the chicken and have it sit in the sauce a little bit while you continue to prep everything. So the minute you're done with your chicken over here, then it's had the chance to, you know, um, tenderize, mm -hmm. you know, because you do have a little bit, break little bit of acidity little, in here. Yeah, we'll break it down a little bit. Yeah, break it down. I went ahead and pounded my chicken breast. I have a tendency that's habit just to do it a little bit because I think it helps with the tenderization as well. So I'm going to just dip my sauce in here. And if you just want to use this and just mm -hmm. kind of make sure it's all, it's all. Here's some of the chicken that I did earlier for the salads that I have before you. So I definitely got a lot of panko crumbs that fell off, but you know, it's still okay. You still have a little bit of crunch. Yeah, sprinkle the, sprinkle the list once on top of the salad. Oh, do what? Oh, yes, yes. Okay. Oh, you gotta get in there, man. All right, dig in. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, what I'm going to have Lisa do, if she doesn't mind. Well, I guess we all can go over there. But um, lay is here. We'll both. So what I what I do here, we're just going to lay it in the in the breadcrumbs. And then once you get as many as you can laid out. Depending on the size of your pan, you may have to do this in two batches. I did. And I only had two chicken breast. Turn this a spoon. Yeah, we can use that spoon to press it down. Mm -hmm. You don't gotta flip it over. Okay. Yeah, I can't even remember if I put olive oil on this recipe. Hopefully most people will know that, but I will go ahead and add olive oil because you got to cook your chicken in something. Let me ask you guys this, who likes buffalo wings? Oh, definitely. Michael. Michael, do you? All right. Yes. Yes. I wanted to cook along with you today, but we had some COVID emergencies at work. So I ended up working all weekend oh. and I wasn't able to uh, get the things together to do it. Well, no problem. We're here to just visit and get to know you people. And, you know, well, the other thing is, too, it's like watching a cooking show. Sometimes people just want to look and right. then take whatever notes. Or right. I made some. Well, I've watched I've watched every episode of your show for all the seasons. So oh, wow. it's amazing to uh, see you in, in person in this way. Oh, yeah. yeah. See, I'm just me. This She's is how I <laughs> feel. She's, She's, She's just the same. Uh, Lisa should know because she's been with me for a while and she hasn't left. Also, I, I grew up in Alpena, Michigan for many years, oh, which really? you've yeah. probably heard of. Oh, gosh, yeah. Yeah, it's right by food. Yeah. Yep. So anyway, what you want to do is press it down as much as you can and That's into great. the um, chicken things. And if you want to make this easier, you know, go ahead and buy the chicken tenders. But the reason I don't do that is because it is more expensive because they've had to, you know, cut it up and all this stuff. Chicken breast in itself, I think, obviously is more expensive than a whole chicken or, you know, something like that. But I can't tell you how 
I, I've been cooking with just with chicken breast for eons okay. or chicken thighs too. Okay. We're just going to put this over in the pan. And you don't want it on too high because what will happen is your breadcrumbs will cook, but your chicken won't. Well, I usually have that on about medium high or depending on your stove, have it on medium. Cause like I said, you don't want it too high because you'll just burn the bread breadcrumbs and your chicken won't cook. Um, the one thing about uh, panko breadcrumbs, this will be fine with regular. I just like panko for a lot of my stuff because it does add that little bit of crunch, but it does soak up quickly. And so you might have to add some more oil to it. <laughs> See, Lisa's my glam. She cooks at home too, but she was too afraid to touch, touch the chicken and get her hands all messy. <laughs> <laughs> I wash my hands a lot after the chicken and all that good stuff. So with this stuff, you really do have to keep an eye on it just because it is panko and it'll soak up the oil. So we just turned it off, let it rest for a minute. Mm -hmm. I got my celery chopped, you guys. I went ahead and did avocado just because I love avocado. It's great. Went ahead and sliced up our carrots. You want to read the radish? Mm -hmm. Went ahead and did the radishes. I think in the recipe I said definitely cut up. Oh, that's the one thing I, I you know what? The one thing I forgot to put in my sauce was the, the uh, chives and everything. If you forget to put the chives in the sauce, no problem. Because you know what? You're going to sprinkle it on the salad. Oh, yeah, I forgot dill too. I couldn't find fresh dill. So mm. I just used dry dill. We were just going to see it's cooking, nothing perfect. <laughs> You know, we're just gonna do a little bit of this and a little bit of that. So, um, oh, the blue cheese dressing. Okay, this was a whole heck of it. Sometimes when I make these recipes, I'm not a very good visual person all the time. This dressing would probably go over 10 salads, depending on how much dressing you want. So this is the, the recipe that I have in there. So like I said, depending on how much dressing people want, I thought this was a lot. I think blue cheese is a powerful dressing. And so mm -hmm. I just want to drizzle a little bit. I don't want it super coated. But of course, this dressing is only on the top. I think probably one of the things I would do is just drizzle a little bit of dressing, dressing over the veggies and the lettuce, lay your chicken on, and then just do a little bit of dressing over the chicken. So you got it like in layers instead of just all of it sitting on top. Okay. But um, I like making my own blue cheese because I don't know, it's fun. You can, you know. I went ahead and used. Do I just chop this way? Are you making a chopped salad or you want it just. Broken? No, I just sliced it. Okay. I thought it was okay. Yeah. Um, let's see. What did I say here? I use plain yogurt for this just because I love yogurt. I think it's a, I don't know, a little better than um, mayo, but mayo is good too. Um, I didn't use Greek yogurt because that's way too thick. So did any of you guys make your own blue cheese or? Chris, did you guys? I use Greek yogurt. <laughs> oh no, no, Greek yogurt is good. And that's why I added the cream or the milk because depending on how mm. thick it is. I had to add a lot of milk, yeah. Yeah, because that's the thing I was worried about Greek yogurt um, because it's thicker than just your regular plain yogurt. So that's, and I just drizzled a little bit of uh, cream depending on, you know, how runny you want it. Do you want this in two bowls or one? Um, I, um, well, I did two. Okay. So yeah, yeah, we can do two. I think we have enough for two. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so I mean, what we're gonna do is just layer it. And that's what she's doing. She's putting her lettuce down. But like I said, this is a dinner. I consider this a dinner salad. This could be lunch, dinner, whatever you want. Um, you can add more chicken, not. I mean, it's just so versatile. I added some other stuff that you guys could add in there, but for chicken wings and uh, blue cheese dressing, 
you know, if you go to parties and stuff, they usually have celery sticks, dip it in the blue cheese, carrots, dip it in the blue cheese, you know, stuff like that. And so, yeah. And then I kind of uh, want to make this into a bowl. So I layered the uh, celery down the middle. And then the carrots on one side. If you want to just sprinkle it all around, I mean, feel free. Oops, got this salad. Mm -hmm. That's what Chris and I are having for the next yes. two days. <laughs> I got four big salads here. Unless, you know. uh, unless Lisa wants to eat one after we're done with all this. Sounds good. Unless you want it for Chris. No, no. <laughs> I mean, he'll have one of these. And the other thing too, like I said, layering it, you know, you've got a lot of veggies here before you add the, um, uh, the chicken. So if you want just sprinkle a little bit of chives on there so they get a little flavoring, a little herbs going on. I would have preferred uh, fresh dill, but they didn't have it at the grocery store. You know, it's a Monday. Everyone probably bought it out because of the weekend. Sometimes if you really like to grocery shop, you get to know when the foods are coming in at your grocery store. Thursdays are the best days to go because we're getting ready for the Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So, and, and then we'll just layer it with the chicken. Did you get another one for the avocado? Oh, yeah. Sorry, I'm, I'm not really serving this up for anybody, so I have a tendency to use my hands. <laughs> I forget that I'm videotaping this. Hang on for just a sec. Okay. So yeah, and oh, uh, chicken is going to go on down oh, the middle. middle. Okay. Sorry about that, Lisa. Spread it on the sides. Put the avocado on the side. Like I said, you could do whatever you want. So yeah, I just layered, and, and because this is a dinner salad, make smaller portions if you want it for lunch. You know, like I said, it's just really up to you. And that's the thing I love about cooking. You know, recipes give you an idea, but like um, Tanya, you know, if, if, you're, if your uh, palate isn't into spicy foods, you know, another vinaigrette dressing, it's still got that little bit of tang going on, you know, stuff like that. I mean, that'll work perfect too. Yeah. You wanna oh. drizzle, what's what's next? You have some lemon here, what is, what are we Well, doing? lemon is in the dressing. Oh, okay. I thought I had to make the dressing again. So that's why I left the lemon out. I see, it's in this dressing? Yeah, it's in the blue cheese dressing. So we got a little plain yogurt, according to the recipe. Because plain yogurt was a little more, um, how should I say, loose than Greek yogurt, um, I probably didn't need as much sour cream, but a third, third is okay. And then I added some lemon juice. I went ahead and did I say zest in here too? Yes. Your zest. zest. Added lemon zest. I love lemon for a lot of things. When I'm cooking salads, because... Um, it just adds that little spark, that little freshness. It just kind of, to me, it's like a little bit of sunshine. It just brightens things up. And I added chives and uh, a little bit of salt and pepper if it's needed. And like I said, if I had cilantro, I would have drizzled this over, so. And look at that, I didn't even do what I said I was gonna do. Put the dressing over some of the um, lettuce and delicious. stuff before I added the chicken, but. It's funny, I do an email and I think I put everything in there and I send it, I read my email and I'm like, what? It's an incomplete thought because my mind is going faster than what I'm taping and I already thought I tape, uh, typed it in. So Lisa, you can eat some of this or, cause we gotta have a bite. Okay, Chris, Tiffany, where are you guys at? I'm almost done bowling them right now. So they're all, they're ready. Okay. Well, are you guys all done with your salads? Mm -hmm. Did you taste it? No, not yet. Okay. The well, chicken, yes. The chicken, I, yes. 
Oh, your chicken is still cooking? No, no, I'm done. Hmm. You want me to share that? Let me see your dress. Yeah, yeah my wife uh, had to run and get our daughter from uh, grade school real quick down the street. She just pulled in again, so she's back. So I'll taste it with her in a minute. Okay, yeah, no problem. We got, we got time. Um, so what do you guys think? To me, I think it needs a little more salt, or at no. least mine. No? no you know, oh, are you all. good? I'm good. This is okay. wonderful. No, I'm um, really thinking it's a good flavor. <laughs> if you guys added cayenne pepper. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Well, I know you didn't. <laughs> yeah. Did you guys? No. Chris and Tiffany? No, no I didn't add any extra spice. Okay. <laughs> to me, Frank's hot sauce is enough for me. Mm -hmm. But if people like it a little more spicier, you know, obviously, like um, Tiffany, you know, I know you didn't. You didn't make it, right? Tiffany? No, is, is that Stephanie. Stephanie. <laughs> Stephanie. Oh, Stephanie. Sorry, Stephanie. <laughs> no, I made it. <laughs> okay. Let's see yours. Bring it up to the camera a little more. I saw earlier you snuck it in there. Oh, I nice. didn't layer it though. I didn't. I didn't do good with layering. No, but no, it worked. And I used the Greek yogurt, and I okay. didn't add very much milk, and so it is a little thicker. But so now I know for the future because it's a great. Yeah. It, the flavor is great, but I would definitely get it a little thinner next time. Mm -hmm. I think to me, this dressing is a modification from a ranch dressing. Uh, the reason yeah. I like making my own blue cheese type of thing, I love blue cheese. Chris loves blue cheese. I love it too. <laughs> that um, I didn't want it overpowering with blue cheese. And so this way you can monitor how much blue cheese you want. So um, what else would you guys do differently in this or add something else like I know some of you guys added tomatoes which was great mm -hmm. I love my tomatoes um the dill really makes it I love dill mm -hmm. and I love cooking with dill um I make a special dill sauce to cover chicken which has really simple just sour cream dill and um cornstarch and you mix it together and and um oh and the nor vegetable soup mix and yeah. then you just that all together and then it makes an incredible sauce over the chicken mm. so i and it, it calls for like like a table or a teaspoon of dill and i just sit there and go and just keep pounding the dill on it because i don't think you could get too much i love dill so it really it, the salad tastes really good with it so i don't know if i change anything i have a tendency to use a lot more herbs as well mm -hmm. but sometimes a half a teaspoon i'm like what <laughs> I use a whole teaspoon or well, a tablespoon, you know, it all depends. And I like the parsley and the cilantro it might overpower because mm -hmm. sometimes cilantro, I love it, but it is yeah. pretty strong. So I think that parsley really blends. And this would mm -hmm. go great with romaine lettuce too. I chose iceberg mm -hmm. because it holds up the chicken. It's got a little more crunch. It's a little more hardier. Mm -hmm. um, yes. You can definitely mix in your lettuce here, whether it be iceberg, a combination of iceberg and romaine. Or if you want a little bit of that pepperiness, iceberg and uh, arugula, you know, would be um, great with this, or at least I do. Uh, but I just have iceberg in there. Um, I just want to wish you guys all a wonderful summer. Stay safe. Have a yes. great time. And if you follow me, I'm going to try and do, you know, my little Alaska motorcycle. Yes. And if I see to. a moose, I hope to do a video because I'll be so, so excited. <laughs> anyway. Okay, guys. All right. Thank you Thank so you. very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Amy. Thank you. Nice Thank you. Have a great day. Oh, and North Park, we got to do coffee. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, Amy, Amy, I'll do coffee with you when you come to Michigan. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, yeah. I might have an opportunity to do that, too. Okay, that would be great. Awesome. All right. Take care, you guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.